Today's news trending. Here's who the violent passenger on Korean Air really is. Im Bum Joon, the 34 year old son of a CEO of a fairly large corporation in Korea, became violent after drinking on a Korean Air flight from Vietnam to Incheon and needed to be restrained. There are a fair amount of facets to this story, including a celebrity from the United States who helped with the restraining. But is there something that you'd like to start with? Yes. This man was drunk uh his patukas. He was drunk before he got onto the flight and then he proceeded to drink two and a half glasses of whiskey. There's a video of him acting belligerent and spitting in the face of a fellow passenger who was trying to help the all-female crew restrain him, actually tie him to his seat. And he's spitting again and again and again and using the worst vulgarities you could possibly use towards anyone that you don't know. And on top of that, Richard Marks, who some of you may know and some of you probably don't know, who was very popular in the 1980s for one of his pop songs, Right Here Waiting For You, was all also there. I don't actually see Richard Marks in any of the videos helping with the restraining, even though apparently he did. He's just standing in the background, but he is one of the people that sort of came to the rescue initially. So you see him in photos, but I don't have any proof myself of him actually doing anything other than standing there. And not to say anything bad about Richard Marks, he did post on his Facebook a bunch of different times about Flight 480, Korean Air Flight 480 that is, and how the crew was ill-prepared for this sort of thing. It really does look to be a story of a rich, spoiled son of a CEO named Im Byung Sun of Do Jung Products Incorporated, which makes makeup and cosmetics exports. I wanna make a few notes about what happened, what could have or should have been done, and what is going to happen now and what is not happening now that should be happening now. The first thing, Korean Air. It's one of the nicest airlines in the world and it's one of the nicest, if not the nicest airline out of Korea. And they have very attractive model-esque flight attendants on these flights. So I personally am not super surprised that a bunch of really attractive model-esque flight attendants don't know how to handle a full-grown man who's flailing around and hurting people. I'm wondering if he did mention to them at one point before this happened who he was or why he feels personally that he's important, more important than most other people. Mm, and I wonder if that's why they gave him so much alcohol because what are they doing giving a clearly drunk guy two and a half glasses of whiskey while in the air where it actually affects your body more than it does on the ground? That should not have happened at all. Well, to just clear up a couple of things, first of all, internationally, or at least on Korean air, you can still get all the free alcohol you want. They don't charge four or $5 for a can of beer like the American Airlines do at this point. Secondly, I don't know for sure that he was clearly drunk before he got on. Mm. He could have been drunk before he got on and been able to mask it, and then they would feed him alcohol. Of course, they would not continue to give it to him if they saw he was clearly drunk, but you don't know that until it's too late. So I don't know if he was clearly drunk or if he was a little drunk or what the situation with his alcohol level was prior to getting on and once he was on board. I think the bigger issue here also is that once they landed in Incheon, he was not arrested. He was questioned briefly and let go. And this is because of his dad's status as a Che Ball owner. Yes, and he actually hasn't been taken in for further questioning since then because he had a summons, but he's not showed up for his summons. He's claiming that he wants to talk to his lawyer before he actually goes in and talks to the police. And the only reason he can really get away with that is because of his dad and his dad's money. And like the police, they don't even have a urinalysis of him. So they don't even know if he was on other drugs or other medications and they want to find that out, but they can't because they can't test him until he talks to his lawyer and dad's got lots of money. And people are really wondering and thinking that he's going to get away with everything. Hopefully he won't, but, and this is not just a Korean only thing, but this is very much a normal Korean thing if you have a lot of money, you are able to circumvent these sorts of situations with your money and with throwing lawyers at police and et cetera and so forth so on. Even if he does get in trouble though, the most likely thing that will happen is that he will get fined. There's a max fine of 10 million won, which is actually, I'm sorry, that's not that much for what he actually did. Drop in the bucket. Exactly. The very worst situation is he could get fined 
and put in max security prison for up to seven years. But you know that his daddy's not gonna let him rot in prison. One option that appears obvious in the video is that the guy who took the brunt of the assault was getting spit on again and again, because this young guy kept spitting as he was getting restrained. They literally were tying him with a rope into his seat. That guy could probably sue because there is video evidence of him spitting on him and he's swearing at this guy and this guy is keeping his cool and he is just trying to help out the stewardesses. I'm just glad that there was video evidence of this and the whole thing was recorded and captured because this is the most likely chance that this guy is going to get in any trouble whatsoever. And that's kind of sad. Comments you guys about this one. Imagine you purchased a ticket to Korea from wherever you live, a long flight all the way over, you're visiting Korea for the first time, you're super excited, you're nervous, etc. And then this happens on the plane. Oh my gosh. Even though you think that's never going to happen. What do you think could have been done? What should be done? And what are your thoughts overall on this situation? Click the like button, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.